Martin will jump it with Jeff Black, who is a senior forward out of Montgomery, Alabama. And we're ready to tip off tonight's Merchants CBC Classic. And Zachary, just as he did last night, controls the ball in the backcourt for the Cardinals. Now he got help from Bonzi, and now... As per usual, it looks like Randy will break the press himself. Yeah, just a little man-to-man uh, -man pressure to kind of keep him honest. Nothing uh, too great. Second foul, just a minute and a half into this, and Ricky Evans comes off the bench, the junior forward, to replace him. And Zachary finally breaks the ice and gets the first two of this one. The senior from Anderson Island. He and Bonzi traded spots. He was down inside, and Bonzi was playing point guard. He just came around a double screen and had a wide-open jump shot. Nice play. Bowling Green plays. Bowling Green, Green. Green. Purdue right. beat him uh, a few days ago. There you go. Bonzi with a loose ball almost. Oh, he's getting the good. bank to go, and it's four zip. Blocked by Jeff Black. Johnson back up, and a nice kid. Oh, Effort that he's had the three previous games. There's Bonzi Wells with a tremendous kiss off the glass. And Bonzi looks aggressive on the offensive end again tonight. Eight zip cards. Ball State. One substitution so far in this game. Dwayne Clemens, as we just told you, who's been so aggressive offensively. Hasn't played like a freshman at all. Danny Zachary with a jumper gets a throw from the baseline. And that's four for Zach. Ten zip ball. I know Ray wants to establish that this year. Good, good heads up pass. Where's the ball? Right near the basket. High percentage offense. Well done. Clemens on the run. He's played this game exceptionally well. And look at that feed again to Hankins and the same duo who was just very proficient a moment ago. Repeats at 14 4 card into the glass and a missed shot. And expect the shooter to miss it and not assume it's going in. He's going to get some putbacks like that. He watched it for four or five minutes. Now he goes in the game and follows through. And that's really good to see a guy come off the bench and, and handle it that way. Marcus Mason, the 6'5 sophomore out of Peoria, he is in for the Cardinals now, number 33, and also on the last break. The same play again. And Clemens gets the finish again. I'll tell you what, you talk about deja vu. Ryan Reed is going to have Billy Lynch. I'm not really sure why Troy State's trying to press because it hasn't been effective except to give up points at the other end, just like that. Marcus Mason. Cardinals just doing a good and half, and we're at 7.25 now in the first half. Bonzi. Double dribble, get away with it, goes baseline. Uh, That's a good move, you can get away with it. Yeah, I don't, it was right in front of two officials, I don't know how you shot that. from Troy State, and here comes Bonzi into the fourth court, off the left hand, Bush, he's there. Now here we go again, Ball State's on a little run themselves, let's see if how well they sustain this. It's like he put a divot on the rim. Clemens with the left hand, and Jay, and he gets it to go. And his stroke just continues to amaze. He's uh, shooting well over 50% from the field. And then who doesn't go, gets his own rebound, goes back up for it, does it. Ryan Reed puts it back up, and he's got it and put him on the line. That's there all night long. All Ball State has to do is just play, uh, play volleyball with the basketball. We're at three minutes right now remaining in the first. As the ball is rejected from Reed. As Ricky Evans went up with it. And Reed recycles it. This is Barnes, who's been the leading scorer for Troy State so far in this one with 11. The jumper from Mayfield doesn't go, and Donche was fouled by Zachary, who picks up his first foul of the game. Randy, did, Randy didn't think so. He's shaking his head, but uh, he got him with the body, had a hand up, but got his body into him. And well, Randy had the first block shot of his career last night, so <laughs> yeah, he's feeling kind of confident. He's feeling like he could uh, block about anybody's right now. You know, Mickey Hosier told me before the game, he said, yeah, uh, it's just tough to get minutes away from Zachary because he's 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's And a, he's got all that experience. And he's got four majors and two minors. Another miss, and it's been a bad night at the free throw line. Six of 11 now for Troy State. Bonzi with a big rim. Now, here we go. Now, let's see how the defense picks up down at the other end. Good play. Follow through with good off, good defense. First reaction from the crowd tonight, and a quick miss by Troy State is going to help as Cardinals can convert here. It'll keep the momentum going. Here's Mason on the right side with a three. That'll do it. Yep. Marcus Mason. He's got a mismatch if he can take advantage of it here, but he'll reset to Zachary with plenty of time on the shot clock. And you see in your right-hand corner the game clock in the first half of play. Oh, my. That's a pick. Let's see if they work the ball down and take the shot when they should and not too early. Nice pass from Bonzi to find Zachary wide open for a three. A great possession for the Cardinals. Gives them a 10-point lead. 
Clemens' long shot at the buzzer doesn't go, but a nice finish in the last two minutes for Ball State. And they'll go to the locker room leading 46-39 the championship game of the first Merchants CVC Classic. Field three of six from three-point range for his 11 points. And, of course, Bonzi Wells has once again come up big for the Cardinals. This is two of his more spectacular 12 points here in the first half. Kind of the same thing we saw last night, Mark. Very identical play when he ran the baseline. He took it from the inside. Here you see another angle at it. That's a big-time play. Fonzie's five. Of Ball State has uh, turned the ball over several times tonight. Randy Zachary set a heck of a pick here for Bonzi late in the first half. Cardinals have 11 turnovers. They've shot 50% from the field. And Randy Zachary has seven points and four assists for Ball State. That's a nice... This is there to Marcus Mason as Ball State has the seven-point lead as we near the start of the second half. Just started in the second half as Troy State is on the attack. This is Barnes who was so big in the first half. Could have been a travel for Donaldson. He throws it away and then we're going to get Jermaine Ball on the reach in. Nice hustle from Randy Zachary. Randy anticipated that pass and got out in the denial position defensively and knocked the ball loose and the only thing that Ball could do was... Uh, kind of grab him as he as Randy went for the steal. First foul in Jermaine. And there you see the replay, Randy again. Good pressure defensively. And Smith will bring it into the forecourt now for the Cardinals. Randy providing a lot of good leadership for Ball State out there at that point guard position and, and playing real hard, playing good defense, and that's what uh, they expect. Ponzi rejected him. Make sure the second one doesn't have a chance as he throws it down. Throw to the sideline and someone would have broken open. And again, I'm not sure he's comfortable with taking the ball out of, out of bounds that way. Well, and you, you say why run sideline to sideline like that, but it gives you a better passing sure. angle when you're trying to inbound the ball. Think about that. Xavier pounded your old team, the Miami Redskins. Ball State now back on the offensive end as Johnson with a nice muscle move inside. Well, Johnson has done that three or four times. Maybe he told him it was a good rebound. I don't know, but he was patting on the rear end. <laughs> Here's Zachary with a good job of breaking the pressure. Bonzi. Forearm for Martin. Look to Martin. A nice three from Bonzi. Ball's going to sit down. I don't think uh, Coach Maestri liked that three that he came down and took a couple minutes ago following that Rob Martin alley -oop. Robert Martin, 6'10 center out of Detroit. He's playing with a lot of confidence tonight. He's probably more confidence tonight than he has in any game yet this year. Five points, five boards. Matt Smith in his first two of the night. He's Marcus one. Mason and Ryan Reed all in the game now for the Cardinals. Mason gets the three to go. He's looked really comfortable. Yes, he has. Yeah, he's squared up when he shoots it. He's not rushed it. Taking his time, and it was a good pass by R.J. Three so of three from the field, eight points. Two three-pointers for Mason. There's Ryan Ray with a nice block. Here comes R.J. on a transition game, and he takes it to the outside now and gets things set. Mason again gets the feet square, but makes a good inbound pass to Johnson. Nice fake and gets it up on the glass and got the two. Well, they got that run going against the play here. So now we've seen an offensive sit for a while. Four down set for the Cardinals. Ball pick from Johnson. R.J. gets the jumper to go. Pretty familiar sight for... Who misses, and here comes Dwayne Clemens who finds Zach on the left side. Randy with the give and go move, and that's going to be a block on Dante Mayfield as he didn't have his feet set as Randy made a nice move with the basketball. That's Mayfield's second foul. Here you see it here. Good, good shot, good block. And uh, Randy, Randy, I don't believe he was going to drive to the hoop, but he may think he was and got the foul out of it. Shooting a lot of free throws here the last 11 minutes and 35 seconds. Well, Randy did a really nice job of recognizing sure. that they didn't have the advantage, so that's why that wasn't. Randy's second also goes. So the Cardinals lead at 66-53. Here's in the rim. Here you go. Here's a nice pitch ahead by Dwayne. Excellent bounce pass to Dwayne. Randy's there. Did all but fall in. But look who's there. Had good offensive rebounding all night from Ball State. That's going to help him in future games. Bonzi's got 10 rebounds to go with his 14 points, but... He misses from the line, now two of three, and three of four on the night. And that'll give the cards a 10-point lead with 10 and a half left. Reed now with a final. Three shots don't go for the Cardinals. Bonzi wants to make it a fourth, but he finds Reed. He gets it up and in. 
Well, they hung with it. It was a struggle, that's right, but they got something out of it because they kept going back inside with it. He's got six rebounds to go with it and three assists. And most important, he's given Ball State a double-digit lead. It's 70-60 with 8.16 left. Uh, you give up this many uh, offensive shots, something good is bound to happen for you. It looks like uh, Ponzi Wells is on his way to a triple-double tonight. If he can get a few more assists, he's got 15 points, 14 rebounds, and 6 assists as he takes uh, a well-deserved rest right now as uh, Ray will bring him back for the stretch run of this one. Down in the corner, kicks it behind his back to Randy, who does a nice job penetrating. Kicks it to Reed, Mason wide open for the three. Marcus has just got it going tonight. A tremendous shot. Again, just got to be in this. Coming out here at the beginning of this game, quite frankly, they were sleepwalking, but they sure. have now gotten right back into it and have played a tremendous game. Here's Evans uh, finding an awaiting 42 in the lane. I think he thought he got fouled, but there wasn't any foul at all there. It's the Cardinals with a lot of his fans in the stands. And look at that, Bonzi with another steal. Oh, the tremendous roll with the left. And Bonzi has 22. Yep. I can get on him now that he's leaving. <laughs> Jermaine Ball picks up the foul on Zachary, so one of Ball State's better free throw shooters in left and leading by eight. Well, these are, these are big free throws because it could... Uh, Put Ball State up by 10 and put a whole lot of pressure on Troy State and pick up full court and make him use some time and guard that three-point line tough and not let him hit a three and get themselves uh, jacked up again and get that press on. Eastern Michigan pounded Drake 96 to 81. Elsewhere in the conference, Central Michigan lost to Fairfield 82. Tactics of Troy State. There's Zachary. That's who Ball State wanted to have the basketball. There you go. And that should be the foul there on Ricky Evans. Just the right guy you want to get the basketball on an inbounds pass and to step at the line. They call it an entrepreneur situation, and I'm sure the people at Troy State have enjoyed having his presence on their team. Yeah, that's a great thing about college basketball to see of your athletic ability and then making something with your life after. That's what it's all about. It Randy Zachary hits both, and that's what Ball State hoped for. Ryan Reed gets the miss. An 11-point Cardinal lead. Ryan's going to take it out himself. Here comes Dwayne Clemens for an exclamation point. Oh, there we go. Wrap this one up. Good to see Dwayne get an easy one. He counts as, uh, as a game played, and he can maybe let her at the end of the year. Hopefully, if Ball State has uh, the kind of season they're expecting. Marcus Mason has been tremendous tonight as he hits both ends of the free throws for 17 points, and it's over. Ball State 96, Troy State 81, and Ball State has won the first Merchants CVC Classic. And Bonzi Wells, 24 points tonight, just four assists short of the first triple-double in the history of Ball State University, as he had a great game, putting 24 points, 15 rebounds, and eight of those coming off free throws. Team captains accepting the team trophy now. Coach Ray McCallum and his Cardinals. Randy Zachary there holding the trophy. And uh, they struggled a lot tonight, but came out on top, Jerry. And I guess in the end, that 15 points is really not indicative of how close this game was. You know, he was a leader. He, he did a lot of good things. I thought his uh, defense was a wasn't as strong as it was uh, 24 hours ago. But he had a good, solid tournament. And he's going to need every bit of it as they prepare for the conference. I keep saying this conference game, but, mm -hmm. boy, Mark, now, you just can't overemphasize how important this game is Thursday night. This year's CBC Classic, we've enjoyed bringing it to you.